What are convenience checks, Denzel? And is that a good option to do velocity banking with? Is that a convenient choice of all the other options in terms of pulling money out of a credit card? Okay, when does that actually make sense to do something like that? Okay, the primary goal of velocity banking is to eliminate all debts. We want to leverage the current tool, line of credit, credit card, HELOC, whatever it is that we're using to the best of its ability where we can minimize on the cost and maximize our results. A convenience check or AKA a credit card check is like a literal check. It's like an offer that the, the banks will give you, okay? It's linked to the credit card. So the checks come directly from the credit card. So however much credit limit you have, okay? You'll get these, these actual checks that you can write to yourself, okay? to actually take cash out of the credit card, okay? And it typically has the same cost as a balance transfer, three to 5%. Now, the difference between the balance transfer and the cash advance, okay, is convenience checks are a little more flexible, okay? You decide what to do with the money, okay? You can, you know, with a balance transfer, you can only, you have to, choose which debt you're going to pay off. Okay? With the balance with the convenience check, you have a little more flexibility. Okay? And it's not as costly as the cash advance. Okay? Now, if done properly, okay? A convenience check is a nice alternative to balance transfers and cash advance if done properly be very very uh, clear with that okay let me give you an example I personally have done this twice so far okay and the bank that I used was Bank of America okay I had two credit cards with them okay I was in a bind okay let me tell you balance transfers cash advance convenience checks these are options when you are in a bind if you are not in a bind, you shouldn't even be considering these options, okay? You should be focusing on obtaining the line of credit, obtaining the HELOC, using your credit cards a little more effectively, drawing that cross, okay? And separating cash bills from bills that I can pay with a credit card, okay? Now, if you are in a bind and you need cash, okay? and you need to make a move to potentially increase your chances of getting a line of credit, okay? That might be smart, okay? Like I said, like I always say, every situation is different. Let me just give you mine, okay? In this example here, I, had, I have a Bank of America credit card, 5,000. I got, they called it like a direct deposit offer, okay? or the convenience check, the terminology can be a little confusing sometimes, okay? But the difference is the offer that they were giving me was 12 months, zero interest on a cash withdrawal, okay? So not purchases, but a cash withdrawal. So I have to take money out, right? and I'll get charged three to 5%. That is my only cost, okay? There's no uh, daily interest accrual like, like a cash advance, okay? So with the convenience check, I don't have to worry about that. Now remember, you must read between the lines, okay? Read between the lines so that you know what you're getting yourself into. So I read between the lines, it says I got an offer 0% for 12 months on a cash withdrawal. So I withdrew 4,500. I paid bills, I paid some debts, I made some purchases. I gave money to mom, okay, to help her out. And now I have a new debt 
okay, on the same credit card. I didn't, I didn't go to another credit card. Got a new debt on the same credit card. Okay. Now, when I did this, some of my ca my cash flow went up a little bit. Okay, and I have a, you know, what I did was just paid the minimum payment. Okay, for eleven months. Eleven months. I'm just paying the minimum. Okay. In the meantime, what did I do? I positioned myself to increase my line of credit to 10K. Remember, line of credit's key when we're doing velocity banking, very powerful tool, okay? So I got that line of credit, what do I do? Instead of, since I can't really use this credit card to make purchases, because that's when I get charged the interest, to avoid that, I use my line of credit to continue to do these. Pay bills, pay debts, make purchases. Spend money, save money, invest money, basically. I like convenience checks because it allows me to be a little more flexible. I don't have to really worry about the daily interest accrual from the cash advance, and I don't have to pick and choose which debt I wanna pay off. I can sort of pick that myself, not them. And another thing is, if I have a debt with the same bank, I can pay off that credit card, that specific. So if I had multiple credit cards with Bank of America and one of them is offering this, this convenience check offer, okay, has to be an offer. You don't wanna just do a uh, write a check because basically that's, that's a cash advance, okay? You wanna make sure there's an offer tied to it. So some key pointers I have is make sure that you're getting an offer, you know, 0%, 12 months, 18 months, 16, whatever it is. Try to get, try to get 12, you know? Be disciplined. Have a plan in place to wipe out the debt that you just incurred, accrued, okay? Now, what strategy is that? Class, well, you already know. Velocity banking, right? That is your strategy to pay that off before the 12 months is up, okay? Very, very important, that system right there. Make sure you read the terms. Again, avoid annual fees. Avoid the trap, okay? The trap is they don't really want you to pay these things off. They want you to keep transferring, transferring, right? Did you know, Bank of America is so slick, but I was slick back to them. As soon as my 10, 11 months was expiring, I had another Bank of America credit card, 5K. That card came with the same exact offer, same exact. They know how much debt I have. So they wanted to tempt me again, okay? When they tempted me again, they won, okay? So they got me, right? I did it again because I did my math. I did velocity banking. I used my line of credit. I did a triple move where I moved this debt to the next credit card, right? And so I you know, took, took cash, right, out of here again right? Dumped it into the line of credit to zero that out. And then I took the money back out, paid off this guy. Okay. And I, and I did it some nice moves here where it was, it was moves that I had to make because I was in a bind. Okay. So when we're looking at balance transfer, cash advance, convenience checks, Whatever decision you make, you know where I stand. Convenience checks is probably the best move, okay? The second best move is probably a balance transfer. Cash advance is like last, like your last leg, you're about to die. Like go get a, go get a personal loan, and that is crazy coming from me, okay? I just do not like cash advance. I think they're, they're the worst, 
okay? I would rather, literally, like I said, I would rather be late on bills than take a cash advance from a credit card. You will get eaten alive with the interest rates. I'm not kidding, okay? Get eaten alive, okay? So you better to try to go with this, okay? But before you try that, try this, okay? You can't do that, you can't do that. And if you can't do this, because you don't wanna do that, you wanna look at potentially getting just a personal loan, a small one, 3,000, 5,000, whatever it is, because remember, we're in a bind, okay? This is how I want you to be thinking if I'm in a bind. If you're not in a bind, this video does not apply to you. Don't even worry about this stuff. Remember, I'm talking to specific people whenever I drop new videos day by day by day, okay? It's good information to know, just, you know, for young people, for millennials, Listen, don't fall for the trap, man. Yo, if you're young, don't fall for this stuff. Balance, transfer, cash advance, convenience. Don't fall for none of that crap, okay? Build your credit. Pay your bills on time. Don't spend more money than you make. Live a 50% lifestyle, okay? Where you live on 50% of your income and you ain't ever gonna worry about this junk. On top of that, living a 50% lifestyle Give 10%, okay, to someone, a church, an organization, a nonprofit company, volunteer, give. I'm telling you, when you give, you receive tenfold. It's amazing. The system works. It's always worked. It's the oldest system. It's older than Pharaoh, okay? It works, all right? But this kind of stuff right here, okay, is you're, you're, you're just playing games. You're, you're borrowing from Peter to pay Paul, okay, all the, you know, a bunch of different times. All you're doing is buying time. You're not necessarily increasing cash flow. You're just trying to buy yourself some time, save a little interest, okay, so that we can position ourselves to get that number one debt tool, which is the personal line of credit or a HELOC or even a really good credit card, all right, with like good rewards and things like that, okay? So I hope that helps, okay? Just to recap, a convenience check, it's an alternative to balance transfer and cash advance when we're talking about credit cards, okay? Convenience checks do come with HELOCs, okay? And personal lines of credits. But remember, I would not recommend that transaction. If you do have a personal line of credit or a business line of credit or a HELOC, I do not recommend writing checks to the debt companies, the debt institutions that you owe money to or, or just monthly bills, okay? We're gonna talk about online banking and making transfers in another video, okay? So for this right here, we're just covering convenience checks. Hope this helps, my name's Denzel. You know where to find me, check the description below, check out my website, you wanna work with me one-on-one. -on -one. Gonna be dropping a lot of fundamental classes this month all fundamentals all right so that all of us collectively can get our money right get our personal finances in order so that we don't make a mistakes okay because when you make a mistakes you got to pay interest okay over 80 percent of americans living paycheck to paycheck what are we doing people what are we doing we're supposed to be the greatest country there is we are the greatest country we just got to learn get a little bit smarter okay Get your money right, build your legacy, build your kingdom, get what you want in life, learn how to give, stop being greedy, stop being selfish, learn how to give, learn how to invest in yourself, money will never be an issue, okay? Have a wonderful day, God bless.